Hello everyone, this is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. Well, on Thursday's episode of Walker, we had a little bit of a, of a different circumstance because this was really, really tough. Now, last week people been talking about it. Hey, did Jerry uh, trade on, you know, the, the, the Walkers for the Davidsons or whatever, you know, is, is she changing on Walker? Like everyone was wondering about this. Well, in this episode, it seems like Jerry, for the most part, is the same person. She really had to change that much. She's still kind of staying office in talking to, uh, in talking to her mother. You know what I'm saying? Like she's really still kind of figuring things out on what she should do next. But she, you know, she still is very upset about the whole thing. And you know, everyone knows that she's a Davidson now. Um, you know, who didn't know before she even found out this last week about it. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But let, let's go into uh, basically what happened in this episode with Jerry. Uh, so, Bonham, Bonham and uh, Liam in Abilene see Jerry at the fair. And Abilene goes to talk to her. Obviously, you know, Abilene is Walker's mother. She tries to explain her side of the story that it was more secret to tell. And she didn't know that Jerry was the child. Jerry gets a little mad at Abilene and then apologizes, saying she feels defensive that Mar should have told Gail, which is true. Should have, you know. And I think that's the one thing that's frustrating Jerry and Gail, Gail all this time, and the reason why she keeps, you know, trying to go after Abilene is because they felt like someone should have told her like way ahead of time, you know, instead of all of these years going by so they find out that she's still alive, you know, and she is the baby that, you know, was missing all these years. So, uh, Kansas performed, uh, the, the legendary band Kansas. And it was another nod, you know, there's been some nods to Supernatural in this series already. <laughs> y'all, y'all know, obviously they always play carry on, uh, carry on waiver son in Supernatural. And, uh, they played it again at the Novak Memorial Auditorium, and uh, everyone watched the performance. It was so funny that nod, man, because I was like, bro, they couldn't do another nod to say that. Like, I think, you know what, I don't know if the producers are doing it or if uh, Jerry Padalecki is, is putting some type of, like, you know, uh, references to Supernatural in there on purpose, but... It's funny, man, when you see it. But this episode was directed by Jensen Eccles, by the way. So that's probably why the knob was in there. So, you know, but it was pretty cool, though. Uh, anyways, uh, Gail texts Jerry while they were watching the show. And Cordell asks Jerry to tell Gail to stop texting her. Gary gets upset and walks out. And Cordell follows. Gary says they're safe for Dolly. And Jerry asks, you know, Dolly came from Dolly Parton, by the way. Um, Dolly Part reference. And Jerry asks Cordell if he thought about having a Davidson in any real way. Jerry is struggling with the truth and tells him she got mad at the conversation with Abilene earlier. Um, and Cordell says he still feels the same way about her and Jerry says the same way about him. And Jerry tells him she can't do this and she needs to figure out where, to st where she stands on her own and she says sorry and walks away. So like Jerry was really mad and she said like, look, if we ever had Sunday dinner, I'm go it's not going to go pretty. Like she's still really mad at Abilene, man. So, you know, it, it, and it's going to cause a rift between her and Cordell because like, you know, the Davidsons hate the Walkers right now. And it's just like, it's going to be difficult for them to have the same relationship they had before, but let's see how they pull through it. Jerry is still really upset about everything, and um, I just, you know, the only thing that I hope does, that doesn't happen is that Jerry gets brainwashed by, like, Gail and uh, Denise and all of them. Like, I just hope that doesn't happen because, you know, it, it could change her. It, it could change her mentality. It's something that we got to be on a watch for, and that's why some people were calling, you know, Gail, uh, I mean, not Gail, uh, Jerry a traitor. So, we'll see what happens, though. Um, and before that, it was all nice between her and Cordell for that conversation, though. So we'll see what happens in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the video because I also going to have some other. I think I might end up doing like three or four Walker videos today. And that might be that's the most ever I've done. I'm going to try to expand on my Walker content on here. So there was a lot of things going on in this episode. By the way, the next episode is on April 28th. 
if you're a football fan like I am, I'm very pissed that there's no new episode next week. I do not want to be that busy on draft night trying to also keep up with Walker, man. They made it, like, incredibly difficult for me in two weeks. I hate it, man. I hate it. <laughs> but that's my problem. Some of y'all don't watch the NFL the draft, so y'all ain't got that problem, but I do. <laughs> Thank y'all guys for watching. I want to hear y'all comments on if you think Jerry's a trade or how, she, how you think Jerry's going to do in the future with this. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. After news, like.